Hi, welcome back to another fun-filled episode of the Unknown Secrets Internet Marketing. I am your host, Matt Bertram. Hope everybody is doing great out there and having a great holiday season. Uh, I've been super busy. I apologize for not doing uh, the second half of the podcast, leaving you hanging. Uh, I want to get that done for you right now. I've actually done three other podcasts today and uh, some corporate training. So uh, it's been quite a day. Um, and I just thought, hey, let me just knock this out uh, and get back to everybody. Um, I do have a special guest tomorrow uh, that I will be recording. I'm going to do a series. So I'll publish two next week uh, to kind of catch you up so you can binge watch some of them. And I would encourage you to go back and binge watch old episodes because a lot of this stuff, if not all this stuff, is super relevant. So anything that's happening with the Google algorithm, they certainly tweak it. Um, and there are some things to consider, but the core of it, uh, for the most part, hasn't changed. So uh, there's a lot of great episodes. I would encourage you to go back and check some of them out. All right. So this episode is uh, a chat GBT writes a blog post on local SEO for small business. Uh, I was asked also recently, um, hey, what, what's going on with the helpful content update? Maybe talk a little bit more about that. Sure thing. Um, you have to drive if you're using AI. You cannot just let AI just publish AI content. You need to show that it's helpful. You need to link out to helpful stuff. You can go back to old blog posts and you can add some stuff here and there. You can uh, help it give you direction. You can help it write uh, descriptions, but know that it gives basically the same description. So if it's free and everybody's using it, um, whoever utilized it first is getting most of the advantage and then everyone else, well, it's not that helpful. And if it's not that helpful, Google's going to unindex it. <laughs> so there are so many sites right now that are getting unindexed because uh, they're heavy on uh, maybe AI content. There's AI farms, or sorry, like yeah, content farms using AI generating 24 seven. So um, it's raising the overall standard of like, help you say whatever you're saying better. And you should certainly leverage it, but be smart about it. And, and know that if you're writing something that somebody else wrote, just like anything else, this goes back to image SEO too, guys. Like if you're using stock imagery, I would encourage you, if you don't have to do it, don't do it. Why? Well, the stock site, whatever that posted those images online gets credit for those images. So you push them on your website. It does help with that customer experience, but from an SEO value, is it going to get indexed? Is it going to link back to you? Are you going to get credit for it? Probably not. Right? So um ai generated art <laughs> uh ai generated art now that will get you indexed okay that's super interesting um i think that uh, all those pieces are uh, extremely original now with content uh and the language models it's a little bit different right now so how you need to be using it is to help you articulate to say whatever it is you're going to say maybe enhance what you're going to say maybe find gaps in what you've previously said that you might go back to do and i'll show you that a little bit in this article but um you know what is it seo is dead long live seo <laughs> right it's it's constantly going to change um i think seo is needed more now uh than ever before because you're sending signals to Google and if there's all this content and it doesn't make sense, it's not um, uh, organized, categorized properly, it's really not helpful. And Google is shame, not shameful <laughs> uh, at all about unindexing content in their index. There's so much more content. There's so much more, um, you know, things that are being discussed. They can't keep everything in their index. Uh, if you become a trusted site, you can get indexed within a couple hours. I get indexed in a couple hours all the time. Uh, and then the bots or whoever copy all my stuff. So um, it's, you know, you know, there, there, there's problems in, in everything, but uh, I'm going to try to stay on this mic and I'm going to try to actually do a share screen here and we can jump into this article. Um, what are some news? I need to read a review. I need to read a review. So uh, I'm going to read a review at the end though. Uh, Cause I know a lot of people are like, eh, I, uh, want just the value. So stop talking about stuff. Um, I think you can see behind me too. Uh, really excited about that. Uh, finally got my 
wall somewhat done. Um, uh, that's been a little bit in the working, but was able to do that over Thanksgiving break. All right, let me, actually, I'm not going to be able to, um, I'm going to be able to do a share screen, but on a different screen. So I'm going to be looking away from the camera for any of you on YouTube. Sorry. Um, but let me present here and I'll explain to everybody what I'm sharing. Share screen sharing with two monitors, share screen. What are, let me do that. I wonder if it'll even let me do that. Tire screen. All right. It lets me do it. So I got a double monitor here and I have the article before and the article after uh, all the prompt engineering that was done. And uh, <laughs> I can really tell you that the articles are pretty dang similar. Okay. They're definitely different, but they're similar. Um, so what was it? Let's refresh. It's about the importance of local SEO. Uh, there was an introduction, online visibility, qualified leads, enhanced reputation, competitive advantage. Is that? Yeah. Competitive advantage, a mobile optimization conclusion. Um, they kind of highlight why this is. Uh, again, the typical signals in today's digital age, right? Uh, in today's digital landscape, uh, or even if they say conclusion or introduction, uh, when the article's write that, it, it's a pretty dead giveaway that it's um, AI written. Um, I can tell you a lot of the AI stuff has been interesting to to see if you give it data how it thinks you should structure the data even in like uh seo descriptions i was having a debate with like a 16 year seo maybe to get them on the podcast um but we were talking about well if you have the ability and more characters to write a longer description should you right and or these preset standards by the industry of what they think you should do is that right i mean i have not a huge opinion of all the uh, you know, competitive intelligence tools. I think they all have their own algorithms. I remember when Moz came out and said, hey, I don't know. I just kind of made this up. Um, and this is what I think, but it, it's not accurate. So DA and all these things are completely made up by the industry. Um, I love Search Console. Um, I love like what Google's doing. I like seeing what's going on in manual searches. Um, you know, I'm trying to optimize for the search engines and knowing that I'm doing the right thing, really all the data is just an indicator of doing the right thing, right? Um, okay, so this article, the prompt, okay. So they, they, they did this whole paragraph of, of how to write this. And I think that this is actually overkill um, on the prompt engineering. You are a trusted and successful uh, digital marketing and SEO professional that specializes in helping small businesses. Uh, you are an expert in local SEO and you have ample experience in creating SEO strategies that have helped your clients to make profitable returns on their investment. You simplified, uh, you, you simplify complicated technical issues so that it is easy for you or your clients to understand what services their money is being spent on. You speak with confidence and you have great, uh, at selling your services. You are an excellent writer that ensures publishing content always serves user intent and meets the highest editorial standards. You excel in creating strong, clickworthy headlines. You break up copy into easy and digestible sections separated by uh, optimized headers. Share your firsthand experience where appropriate and speak to authoritative figure to provide deeper insights. Sorry, my eyes are kind of this is a little bit of a distance here. Uh, you make sure that your content educates and always links back to your primary objectives, which it is to sell your local SEO services to small businesses. You use call to action words to motivate potential buyers and highlight unique selling points that entice hooks. You write in a professional, concise, and easy to understand term. This is not professional. Con well, it's professional. It's not concise. I guess it is easier to understand tone. I mean, at this point, you could just rewrite the whole thing, right? Like if this is what you're writing, this is not saving you time. Uh, please create a detailed blog for small business owners explaining why uh, it would benefit the company to invest in local SEO by purchasing the services of experience, local SEO expert like myself. The key phrase we want to target is local SEO for small businesses. Format 
the results in uh, Markdown that make sure that each section has informational optimized headers that help the users navigate the blog more easily. The key in enhancing the prop as false. Please create, oh my gosh, please create a detailed blog for small business owners explaining why you would benefit from the company to invest in local SEO by purchasing. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stop this. I'm going to read, I'm going to actually read it all. And then I'm going to like tell you what I think. All right. To invest in local SEO by purchasing the services of an experienced local SEO expert like myself. The key phrase we want to target is local SEO business. Oh my God. You are the trusted, successful digital marketing that specializes in. Okay. So that's the task content. And then it says format tone example. So it lays it all out, right? If you just said, as an SEO expert, right, that solves basically all that because you're you're saying what you want them to do and then you're explaining it all out of how you want to do it. And certainly if they don't do it, you can go back and have it rewrite it. But, but if you just say you're an SEO professional, all these things should be pretty understood, right? Um, you could say you're award-winning editorial SEO expert or something like that, or you're award-winning author and SEO expert. Boom. It it solves all of that, right? And then write this, target this keyword, add the headers. Great. That's it. That's all you need, I think. I think prompt engineering is going to be the next like big thing. But let's see what it did, okay? So after all of that, right? And so this breaks it down from the task, context, format, tone, and it looks like it even gives you an example. Um, okay, so I'm doing a share screen for anybody like on YouTube or whatever. Uh, appreciate the support. Like the channel, follow guys, share it. <laughs> um, actually, give me money. That would be the best thing in the world. Um, I, I think I will put a link in the show notes um, through Buzzsprout. That's who I'm using. Uh, there's a way to like, hey, give me three bucks. Like buy me a cup of coffee or whatever. That would be awesome. You don't have to. Um, but that would be awesome. All right. So basically I have a split screen up and I have, uh, the, the current article and then the new article. And I would love to look at this kind of side by side, right? This is kind of what I want to do. Also. All right. So, all right. The title. So the importance of local SEO for small business. And then this is local SEO for small businesses, boost your online presence and drive more customers. You know, that's debatable. Like if you want all that in the title or not, um, when you're, when you're talking about like what the slug is. Okay. Uh, it's more concise, I guess, uh, the first paragraph, but basically it's just summarizing what you're going to talk about in this blog post. I mean, what is this in this blog post? We'll explore the benefits of local SEO and while hiring an experienced local SEO expert like myself can make a difference in your business growth. So this is talking more in the first person. Um, the previous article said in this blog post, we'll discover the importance of local SEO and how it can help you attract more customers in your target area. So that's, you can just tell the AI right in first person, right? Or right in a personable tone um, is, is really what you can do. Um, they define, okay. So it, it better defines what is, Local SEO, let's define what we're going to be talking about. Um, I am going to be just training um, on like categories and tags and SEO. If you want to really uh, get the nuts and bolts of this thing, um, I should have that uh, coming out soon and going to be coming out with the coaching program. But essentially, yeah, let's define what we're talking about. So we're all making sure we're talking about the same thing, right? What is local SEO? It's blank, right? And they don't do that in the first one. And then it goes into, okay, another header. I like it. What are the benefits of local SEO? We also know that there's four types of main searches. Most of the main search type is informational. So what is local SEO? You're kind of checking that box. So that's good. And then benefits. That's typically what people are looking for. Hey, why should I do local SEO? Here's the benefits, right? So it, it gives you that header. I think that that's good. It, again, it's organizing the content. It's basically the same information. It puts it in bullet points. Um, so one, two, three, four, it only gives you four bullet points. It doesn't give you five. It, it trims it down. So mobile optimization, it cut out of it. So, um, basically same information. Uh, it just put it in headers as opposed to like, um, a numbered list. So that's a little different. And then it added on this and I've seen this a lot. Why hire 
and experienced local SEO expert. That's almost like a separate token, I think. Um, and so it just restates why you should hire it. And it's saying it in the first person, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I think being more personable, um, personalization, uh, I think, uh, I've done some blogs and, and I, I think I've done a, a, a post or two or, a, or sorry, a podcast or two on kind of the intimacy economy. Uh, I believe that, uh, people are going to want to talk to chat bots more than they want to talk to humans because they're way nicer. They're going to say, say, say nicer stuff and humans maybe don't let you down. Um, I think, uh, a lot of people in like Japan and, and some other places, uh, already dating dolls, uh, maybe dating, um, chat bots. Uh, just imagine you put the chat bot in a doll. I mean, I think that that's going to happen. Um, that's my personal opinion. All right. So why hire an XEO expert? It, it tells you expertise and knowledge, time and resources, uh, results driven approach. And then there's a conclusion. Investing in local SEO is a smart move for small businesses looking to boost their online presence and attract more customers, blah, blah, blah. Contact me today to discuss how I can help with your goals. I like that as a clear call to action. It's very personable. Um, I, I think also, um, you know, something that I need to do a podcast on and I need to get a, a little bit more experience with is uh, taking all my blogs and taking all uh, the podcasts we've done and then training a chatbot. So you can actually ask a chatbot a question and it'll give you the answer based on what I've said, what I've written that is most like me, right? Like the, the most liked answer. Um, and, and you can make this, this is, I think like conversational, that's probably the, the term for the, uh, prompting, uh, that could have saved, uh, all that, that paragraph writing. You could have just said, Hey, uh, make it conversational. Um, you know, make it concise, uh, as an SEO expert, that is a award-winning, um, author or something like that. And, uh, and then say, give me the headers, uh, and then give me a strong call to action on why they should hire me. And I think you'll get something pretty dang similar to this. Um, and then, okay, they threw in what is, I think that's a good thing, uh, to kind of define what you're talking about. I think the AI knows what you're talking about, but if it has to use less resources to figure out what is the common ground of uh, the overall topic of the, um, you know, article, I think, boom, there you have it. So, um, there you go. There's the second half of the article. Uh, I did that in pretty decent time. So let me stop sharing. Um, hopefully you got some, some value out of that and maybe some prompt engineering. Um, that's what I would play around with. Uh, certainly we can do some training on it. There's a ton of people pushing all kinds of stuff out there, uh, about it. It's pretty wild. Um, it's kind of like the new, uh, what is it? Gold rush. Everybody's uh, jumping into AI. I, I certainly think it's a tool, but I think PPC is a tool too, right? I think there's a lot of things that you can use to better communicate your point. I certainly think videos, um, are fantastic. Um, so, you know, it, it, it really doesn't change a, a whole lot. Um, but certainly you should be aware of it. Uh, and you can utilize it. I think it really saves time and planning. Um, that's where I think the the real value is. All right. So what else can I tell you? Um, what else would you like to know? Uh, send me in your questions. Um, you know, I am going to be doing a podcast series. Oh, I have uh, a guest on. I'm going to release seeing two podcasts next week. I'm going to try to stick with the same cadence of uh, these podcasts. Hopefully you're getting value out of this format. Um, I'm going to get Chris back on, uh, he's doing a health summit. Uh, he's been, you know, doing some really awesome stuff, uh, to, we can check back in with him, see what he's doing. He's doing a bunch of biohacking stuff. Um, his wife's opening up on Friday, a spa, um, lot, lots going on actually uh, might be probably be a, uh, equity owner in uh, a burger chain and, um, coming on as marketing partner for equity, uh, actually got asked, uh, to do that, uh, have another, uh, really interesting deal where we raised about a quarter million dollars to start a lead gen company. Uh, so I'm getting into these, uh, different kind of deals and looking at more equity deals, certainly, um, doing a lot of client work as far as, uh, go to market strategy and stuff like that. Um, have a great team. 
um, that are executing well uh, for clients. So definitely reach out to us if interested or you want support, you want a second look on your accounts if you're another agency out there. Uh, but I have a guest coming on. We're going to talk about uh, business to government SEO and marketing. Uh, we're going to talk about political marketing, which is a really interesting topic to me. I think that uh, it's something that's very, very niche. Uh, and we're going to talk about how to present new technologies, how to sell in new technologies to governments for government contracts. Uh, so uh, should be really interesting. Stick around. And yeah, I do not. Oh, well, I'll pull up a review right now. Let me uh, let me go over there. And if you want to leave me a great review on a platform, uh, help me do some reputation management, would certainly appreciate it. Let me go over to Trustpilot because I had a um, unhappy person a while back with one of my teammates. Um, so we've done some reputation management to get some good reviews. Um, let me read, I'll read this short one right now to let you all out of here. Thanks for sticking around. Um, smart friend, I think he meant friendly and transparent SEO company. What truly sets EWR apart is their exceptional client service, their responsiveness, professionalism, and unwavering dedication to transparent uh, to transparency shine through in the comprehensive reports and analytics they furnish to our team. Uh, and certainly customized reports are a thing. I have a whole opinion on, on analytics, um, how you should do it, um, how it should be done, how to utilize this data. Um, just keep listening. <laughs> I'm sure I'll talk about it. Uh, after encountering less than reliable SEO expert firms, our founding team delivered a uh, discovered a trusted partner in EWR. They not only created an exceptional website, but also uh, elevator SEO and expertly handled PPC campaigns with unwavering dedication. I can say that they are the first company to deliver ROI for our digital marketing efforts. So any of you out there that are searching to see if digital marketing works, will digital marketing work for you? Yes, it will. Um, I am not shy to say if you're not getting ROI on your SEO or your digital marketing campaigns, whoever's doing it, or if it's you, unfortunately, you're doing it wrong because <laughs> there are a lot of companies, uh, including ourselves, including our clients that are generating uh, fantastic results every single day. Uh, so um, if you would like to learn more, we have free consultation with some of our experts. You can get me on the phone for um, uh uh, private consulting session. We can look at your situation. Usually I can knock it out pretty quick. I had, um, some ladies at another agency reach out to me and literally didn't give me the name of the website until I got on the call. So I had one hour to basically, um, uncover, uh, what, what, uh, what was going on with that website that they had maybe been looking at for, for a little bit longer than an hour. So, uh, I think I was able to solve that too. And, um, uh, Certainly, uh, those listening that know who <laughs> I'm talking, thank you. But all right, I'm gonna get out of here. If you're gonna look at the